Yes. Good evening, everyone. Among the ulcers of the lower ex extremity, the acronym time is often used in the treatment in this type of injury as a tool to help um, repair the bond bed. In 2014, with a much more comprehensive view of the care of patients with this type of injury, the acronym DOMINATE was introduced. Uh, so I, I would like to tell you about uh, this acronym in the diabetic foot disease. Next, please. Okay, thank you. These eight letters describe almost all the items we must pay attention to treat the, the, the diabetic foot disease. The D is about the treatment. The O is about offloading. The M is not only about moisture, but also about malignant, medication and mental health issues. The I is about infection. The N is about nutrition. The A is about arterial disease. The T is about technical advance. And the last one, E, is about education. Next, please. Okay, first of all, uh, the aim of the treatment is il eliminating these tissues, inflamed and liquefied remains and the brains. This is the initial step in the approach to prepare the wound bed. What kind of the, of the brain types we can find? Okay, well, well for example, we have surgical, biological, en enzymatic, autolytic, and other types of the, uh, the brightness. As you can see in these pictures, there's a big difference between the one before the bride, them and after. Okay, next please. I like so much the dominate acronym because as a podiatrist, I love seeing uh, there's an important space for all of us to treat bounds. Next please. Thank you. Um, it's important to understand that there are so many different types of pro uh, provisional of loading, like felt form, non removable and removable, knee high of loading device, and ankle high of loading device. And this is only an, an example of them. Uh, next, please. But there also are another kind of, of loading like orth orthosis and prosthetics that we must use them only when bounds are healed, okay? And it's important to know that this kind of, 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 of loading uh, prevent from new future bounds. Next, please. Let's continue with the letter M, okay? Uh, Musture is also an important factor. Exudate is one of the factors to ashes, control and manage, depending about the bound. Malignant. In certain anomalous uh, granulation on, or process with delayed closure and purely managed exudate, it's important to do a skin sampling for the corresponding anatomopathological analysis. Uh, about mm, medications, uh, we must know that polypharmacy and other kinds of medication like anticoagulants hinder the wound healing process. And the last one M's meaning is mental health issues. Uh, well, we all know that the, uh, diabetic food disease uh, can cause an emotional stress and it could turn into an anxiety or even a depression that must be treated as soon as possible. Thank you, please. I uh, thank you. Nice. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, first of talking about infection, we should know that uh, the difference between colonization and infection. Colonization is, is uh, the present and multiplication of microorganisms on the surface of the bone without causing infection, but causing biofilm, as you can see in the first image. In the other side, we have infection, that is the multiplication and invasion of microorganisms in the tissues causing cell damage. Next, please. If we talk about infection, we must know about one infection signs, and we have bad smell, red eye area, pain, edema, abuse, and delayed healing. 
Next, please. The bone infection is also an important entity in the diabetic food designs. It's not always as easy to diagnose as, as it seems like uh, you can see in these pictures, okay? Uh, for that reason, we also know that there are some kind of proofs to detect it, like proof to bone, uh, RX, uh, um, magnetic resonant image, PET scan, and CT scan. Thank you. Uh, next, please. Okay. If we talk about systemic infection, we should know that it has a high amputation and death risk, and it has to be treated with endomenos antibiotic. Next, please. Okay, uh, then it's about uh, nutrition. Well, we know that a high levels of blue sugar uh, could cause the uh, delayed healing. So the regular levels of glycosylated hemoglobin must be between uh, six and seven percent, okay, to prevent that delay. To achieve this, it's important that the patient continue with a balanced diet. And finally, it's important to know that low protein levels can cause a delayed healing too. Next, please. Uh, the letter A means arterial disease, and we have to, to detect it, it as soon as possible. So we have many types of proof that we should carry out. Uh, we have non-invasive arterial studies like the ankle bar brachial index, toe brachial index, and transcutaneous oxygen, oxygen pressure measurements. Next, please. Thank you. Okay, now let's talk about technical advance. I think this is uh, one of the most important of the list because um, there are so many types of technical advance uh, that can help us so much to treat bounce, like negative uh, pressure therapy, ozone therapy, hyperbaric chambers, platelet rich plasma, but also we have all the kind of technical advance that we can use it uh, as a preventer, like uh, uh, thermography, okay, used to, uh, to detect charcoal food infection or arterial disease. Next, please. Thank you. And the last one, uh, he uh, talks about health education, and this is maybe the most important item when we talk about the diabetic food ulcer prevention, okay? And the last one thing I would like to say in is thank all my work group partners for teaching me every day and let me learn about the, uh, diabetic food disease with them. And thank you all for the attention. Thank you so much.